In this coming Shabbat Torah reading, we read of a extremely bizarre case of an evil king who wants to curse the Jewish people as they are getting closer, making their way towards the land of Israel. We have nearly finished our journey. We are 40 years later. We're at the end of traveling around in the desert. And as we are on the cusp of entering the land, an evil king decides to curse the Jewish people. He hires a magician, a wizard, whose name is Bilam, and Bilam goes on his way riding a donkey to make the said curses. It's a very strange story. At the end, instead of putting curses into his mouth, God puts blessings and he, against his will, blesses the people. This is what we will be reading about in synagogue tomorrow. There's one fascinating incident in that God never wanted him to go on this journey. And as he's riding his donkey, God puts an angel in front of his path that blocks the route. The great wizard, the magician, does not see the angel, but the donkey does. And he stops not once, not twice, but three times because there is this angel blocking his path. And Bilam, this magician, starts whacking his donkey and hurting it, not understanding why it's not going on its journey. And eventually, God reveals in front of this powerful, awesome wizard what was in front of his eyes the entire time, yet he could not see. It's a moment of deep irony that the Torah is focusing on. You who are so wise were not able to see what was in front of your face. There's a great quote George Orwell once said that it takes incredibly hard work to see what is right in front of your nose. We live our lives where we don't see what's in front of us. We take it for granted. And if we see anything, it's usually something negative. What we focus on are the things that block our path, that are stopping the journey that we want to make for ourselves. And in the end of all of this, Bilam actually said, oh my God, I've done a terrible sin. Hatati Lashem. Why did he say I've done a terrible mistake? Because he realized what it is to actually miss what's under your nose. How often do we not see what's in front of our faces? And so beautifully, Rashi explains that that Malach Hashem, that angel of God, was Malach Rachamim Haya. It was an angel of mercy. There are messengers, there are messages that are sent our way and we might think that our path is blocked for one reason or another and yet actually there are moments of great compassion and great mercy and great love that are sent our way we just have to be able to open our eyes and see what's in front of us so what's in front of you today this shabbat and this forthcoming week are you able to see literally what's under your nose it takes hard work but if we can do that, then we will not make the mistake of Bilam, this great evil magician, wizard. But rather we'll be able to see the blessings and the mercies and the great compassion that's been sent our way. All we have to do is open our eyes and look. Shabbat Shalom.